I would like to introduce our speaker, Mr. Azimin Amin, uh, Innovate Program Lead at the Brunei Innovation Lab. Uh, currently, he is part of the Brunei Innovation Lab, which aims to accelerate technopreneurs' opportunities development through various initiatives, including capability development and go-to-market support. Brunei Innovation Lab is jointly funded by Darussalam Enterprise. Brunei Shell Petroleum, Shell Life Wire, and DST, and aims to develop technopreneurs across various domains. Prior to being part of Brunei Innovation Lab, Azimin spent nine years at the Brunei Investment Agency covering private equity and venture capital investment. Uh, all right, so Mr. Azimin, are you ready? Yep, all good. Thanks, Suzanne, for the introduction. All right, you may take the floor. Sure, let me just quickly set up. Okay. Yep, so hi and good morning to everyone online. Um, I'm super excited to have you here for this virtual session. So we will be exploring the different programs and initiatives available through DARE and the Brunei Innovation Lab. And yeah, my name is Adzimin and hopefully your guide for today where I currently wear two hats. Um, first, as part of their startup development team and second as the Innovate Program Lead at the Brunei Innovation Lab. So before we dive into the details, let's just do a bit of um, quick introduction on DARE and Bill. So DARE is a statutory body focusing on providing different resources to ensure the growth of MSMEs. So whether they are traditional businesses or businesses that are more tech inclined, and on the other side, the Brunei Innovation Lab is an ecosystem facilitator um, focused on growing technopreneurs in Brunei. And Brunei Innovation Lab, or BIL for short, is a joint effort between Brunei Shell Petroleum, Shell FOIA, Jerusalem Enterprise, and DST. So both DARE and BIL provide many different programs, and we cater to the different needs and stages of startup life. And as you will see right after this, there are many, many options for you to choose from. So let's take a closer look at the um, lay of the land. So as you can see, there's a whole lineup of programs that cater to startups at every stage of your journey. So from the um, initial spark of an idea to scaling up to uh, conquering new markets or expanding regionally, we've got you covered. And yes, this may be confusing, I'm sure, but we will go through the most relevant programs for you one by one, as I, as I would like to highlight in this slide. So if we take out some of the um, smaller or less relevant programs for you, we are left with these five key programs most relevant for you. So uh, essentially, both there and Bill, um, we work hand in hand to provide different programs throughout the year to cater to different businesses and startups. Um, some are held um, pretty much every month. Uh, for example, the micro boot camp under there, uh, while some are held maybe on the once or twice annually, for example, um, Accelerate Bootcamp under there or the Innovation Challenge under Bill. So let's start with the initiatives under there, starting with the Micro Bootcamp program. So this is where um, aspiring business owners, uh, those with zero experience and even um, seasoned entrepreneurs in need of a refresher, um, they all can come together. And what's on the menu? So you would be learning business fundamentals essentially so that includes things like um, business strategy marketing um, finance and others uh, you would also be getting a foot into the dare ecosystem and gaining some essential pitching experience but it's also not just about knowledge um, it's also about uh, community support and networking opportunities that can fuel your startup journey so the micro bootcamp um, it's only held it's held on a monthly basis and we hold both day and night sessions where the evening sessions are particularly for those with, for example, job or school commitments and can only take classes um, during the night. So this is our shortest program where it runs for three weeks. Moving on, um, we step into the pre-accelerate bootcamp. So this is the what we would consider as the sweet spot for early stage startups looking to turn their prototypes into tangible um, uh, innovative products. So it's a platform for startups who need that extra push in uh, translating their concepts into practical business model. And what's in it for you? So we help you to refine your ideas and products. There will also be opportunities for you to validate your products. And of course, a crash course in foundational startup 
leadership skills. So this is especially helpful if you or your team have just started your startup journey. So the pre-accelerate is it's one of our newest program actually, and it will be held three to four times a year, running for about three weeks um, each time in the evening. And next we have the Accelerate Bootcamp. So if you've moved beyond the idea stage, or maybe you have a MVP or a minimum viable product, and maybe you're hungry for scaling opportunities. So this is exactly for you. Uh, we're talking about um, a selected cohort of startups with validated or highly scalable products. So, or maybe founders with customer feedback and, um, and those with business model ready to scale. So this is held twice a year and it's our longest program. So this would require your commitment for 10 weeks and about three nights a week. And in terms of the perks, so the program allows you opportunities to fast track your growth. We also provide mentorship from industry experts. There's also um, networking sessions to help you uh, practice your elevator pitch and also meet potential clients and also various other perspectives or insights that might help you navigate your way in your startup journey. And we also understand that some of you out there have regional aspirations and that's very understandable and that's and we know that that's especially doable for startups or tech startups at this age where tech products make it easier for you to serve global or regional clients. So a very fun thing you get to do through our Accelerate program is that selected startups do get the chance for regional exposure. So the photos you see on this slide, um, those are startups who got the opportunity to pitch to a regional audience, in this case specifically during the Echelon Asia Summit in Singapore. And it's also not just about exposure. Um, it's very much about um, awareness um, and public or news coverage. It's also very much about networking. Um, and in some cases, it's also about being able to connect to uh, regional clients or even investors. And it's not impossible at all. And although the number of um, examples may be limited at the moment, uh, but there is a growing track record of um, Bruneian startups who get to secure funding from um, investors based in Singapore, Indonesia, for example. And as a final point, there does also work closely with um, similar agencies outside, including Enterprise SG in Singapore, where we intend for this relationship to help open up markets for Bruneian businesses and startups. <clears throat> now let's pivot to the two key programs we have under the Brunei Innovation Lab, um, starting with the Innovation Challenge Program. So this one's for um, for technopreneurs, um, startup students, or whoever you are who who is basically ready to tackle real world problems head on. So, <clears throat> sorry, in this program you would be diving into challenge statements from both public and private sectors, where challenge statements are basically actual real world problems faced by industry. So um, this could be an opportunity, for example, to uh, provide a software solution to monitor agriculture crops, or it could be an opportunity to develop an AR VR solution to monitor oil and gas assets, or, or it could just be a simple problem of how you can use technology to monitor and manage an automated feeding system um, for stray cats and dogs at industrial sites. So yes, this this sound very specific, but only because these are actual challenge statements that we presented to participants in our first pilot innovation challenge program, which just which actually just ended about a month ago. So other than that, we offer you resources to prototype your solutions and get you ready for the opportunity to work directly with industry players. And it's also not just about ideation or coming up with creative solutions. It's also about turning those ideas um, into proof of concept with opportunities to have mentorship and industry expertise literally at your doorstep. So the innovation challenge runs for about five weeks with opportunities to win prizes of up to 10,000 and it is held two to three times a year. And I'd also like to talk a bit more about what we call opportunity sponsors. So these are the companies providing the different challenge statements where we collected about 25 challenges for our first innovation challenge. Uh, and these are collectively provided by the logos you see on the screen. Uh, as you can see, this includes names like BLNG, um, BSP, DST, uh, obviously, also Der Salaam Enterprise, but also includes a few government players as well as a regional player, in this case, um, the name you see on the top right, which is 
Mandai Wildlife Group. So Mandai was spe specifically looking for a solution to monitor and track wildlife in Temburong. So these aren't just logos on a slide. These are companies committed to driving innovation within the startup ecosystem, and they are able to provide proof of concept funding for startups to further develop and complete your solutions. So they are the ones dedicating resources to make your startup journey smoother. And lastly, we have the Innovation Accelerator. So this is essentially a follow-up program to our Innovation Challenge. And this is dedicated for startups with workable prototypes and also scalable solutions. And for those ready to also dive deeper into product development and solution implementation. Uh, so in this program or through this program, we have close tech mentorship available. We also help bring in external tech expertise, whether they come from um, uh, Singapore, Indonesia, uh, United States or elsewhere. Uh, we also help provide market access and dedicated and basically dedicated one on one resources based on what your startup specifically requires. So, uh, for example, you could be needing specific expertise, whether it's um, whether it's uh, implementing AI into your product, or maybe it's um, trying to find a way to onboard your um, existing product into a different tech infrastructure, or maybe it's implementing a certain FinTech player into your tech stack, and we can help with that. And we will bring in resources from outside to help provide the guidance and expertise to you. So yes, uh, guided access, um, tech consultancy, coaching, whatever you need, and we'll work closely with you to help set you up for success. And also, finally, if you're just someone who is just starting out, or maybe you are at the moment not too sure about what to do, or maybe you're just craving for different ideas and open to exploring new tech perspectives, we do also have our one-on-one -on -one workshops under the Brunei Innovation Lab, where we host these workshops every roughly about every two weeks. And we cover a variety of topics on tech and how they are applied in the real world. So you can see a few on this slide, but we have also hosted many others um, recently, including data analytics in sales, um, AI in finance, digital twin in smart cities, um, IoT in agriculture, and many others. And finally, we come back to the slide or so-called lay of land that was shown earlier. It's kind of a quick whirlwind tour, but I hope you got the gist of our key programs. And it's also worth mentioning that there are other initiatives available, including the one on the top right, which is BMAN. So BMAN is essentially DARE's mentorship network. Uh, we also have the DARE co-matching scheme, which offers funding to start or scale your businesses through financial grants of up to 20,000. And for those still um, studying, uh, still in school and or much earlier in your journey, do keep your eyes peeled for our upcoming REACH Hackathon, which uh, which is intended to be held at uh, most of the colleges in Brunei. And the first ones to kick off are in U UBD and UTB in the very near term. So there you have it, um, a quick exploration of how DARE and the Brunei Innovation Lab are here to fuel your tech startup journey. So thank you for listening and thank you to the DevFest team for allowing a spot for DARE and Bill to talk more about our initiatives. And yeah, for everyone, please don't hesitate to contact us through our social media or general inquiry email or personally to me at the email shown on the bottom of the slide. So obviously you can also find out more information through our different websites and yeah, or just get up to date information through our social media pages. So please don't forget to follow our um, social media. So once again, thank you. And we hope to see you in our programs. Thank you, Azimin, for sharing that. So, uh, okay, so we have a Kahoot session. So for those who are interested to join Kahoot session for this uh, specific session, um, okay, let me start first. Good job, Okay. Uh, Zimin, can you stop sharing your screen first? Okay. Yep. Oh, I think there's one question. 
Yeah, yeah, you have one question. Okay. So from Azaman Sulaiman, uh, what facilities are available at Brunei Innovation Lab that can startups use, if any? Yep, um, thank you, Azaman, for that question. So at the moment, um, we mostly provide uh, just tours to our digital playroom or tours to our different um, venues. And we also provide those one-on-one -on -one workshops, which um, I mentioned earlier. But we do have in plan to sort of um, set up different prototyping labs, whether they are related to um, AR, VR, um, with, or whether they're related to things like um, specific software um, development programs. But those are still underway. So Bill is at the moment only about just over one year old. So we do have a lot of different plans to provide different facilities for um, startups. Uh, we also thought about um, providing things like um, incubation spaces or commu community spaces. But at the moment, that's something we leverage on through there. So I'm sure many of you are familiar with iCenter. So iCenter is a incubation program and incubation facility where uh, startups or tech startups specifically may be able to get um, free rent um, for uh, one free or discounted rent for one to two years. Yeah. Hope that helps. Okay, we have another question from Hazira. Not sure if I missed your explanation, but in your diagram of services, I saw tech awareness. Could you elaborate a little on that? Thank you. Yep, hold on. Let me just um, turn it for back to which slide. Ah, yeah, so those are basically the earlier the portion of our programs catering to um, the ideation or earlier stages of um, a startup's journey. So you could be um, maybe a student or a working professional or just an individual that um, you don't have, you may not have a specific idea yet. So you would just be trying to explore different technologies or different ways of how technologies are being applied in the real world. So that's where the tech awareness um, portion comes in. So, yeah, so this mainly comes from our one on one workshops, which um, which I explained a bit earlier. So th those are basically workshops that are held every two weeks. Sometimes it's held every one week where we bring in um, speakers from outside, um, for example, Singapore. Uh, so they would be covering different topics um, or things like um, how AI is being used in agriculture, um, how uh, Internet of Things is being used in supply chain logistics. So we try to offer different workshops on a quite frequent basis. So, so far we've had um, various um, participants from different backgrounds. Um, a lot of them come from schools, but we also sometimes see uh, working professionals, whether they come from the private sector or whether they come from the government sector. So it's uh, basically our most um, public facing uh, program to increase tech awareness in Brunei. Thanks for the question, Hazira. Do you guys have any more questions before we start Kahoot quiz? Okay, without further ado, I will share my screen for the Kahoot. Okay, uh, I would like to see more people joining this quiz because we'll, be we'll be giving uh, a prize to those who scored, um, scored higher in, in basically number one, you know. Twenty-one people in that right now. 
we have 40 attendees in this session so right now we have 21 people joining the game are we going to have more oh someone is missing now okay i'll give another one minute before i lock this game and start this game I'm starting the game now, yeah? Okay. Question number one. Which of the following are initiatives under the Brunei Innovation Lab? Micro Bootcamp, Innovation Challenge and Innovation Accelerator, Free Accelerate Bootcamp and Accelerate Bootcamp, or none of the above? Ooh, 15 of you got it right. Yes, the answer is Innovation Challenge and Innovation Accelerator. Now, let's see who got the high score. 2021, wow. I wonder who that is. Okay, let's go to the next question. Which of the following is not a strategic partner of the Brunei Innovation Lab? Brunei Shell Petroleum, Brunei National Football Association, Shell Life Wire, or DSC? Mm. Well done, well done, everyone. 2001 is still the, the top one. Yay! Connect. What is the micro bootcamp program designed for? Government linked companies, tech unicorns, aspiring business owners, and those with zero experience or business experts. Wow, those 23 people really pay attention. Good job. 2001 is still remaining at the top. Wow. Okay, next question. What is the main benefit mentioned for startups in the Accelerate Bootcamp program? Tech consultancy, IG requirement, learning business fundamentals, rapid growth and scaling opportunities. Fifteen of you got it right. Well done. Rapid growth and scaling opportunities. Okay. Oh no, Jordan got the 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 top spot now. Oh no. All right. Here is our final question. Which program offers startups the chance for regional exposure, including pitching to a regional audience in Singapore? Micro bootcamp program. Pre-accelerate bootcamp program, innovation challenge program, or accelerate bootcamp program. Everything is with a program. I'm so confused now. I wonder which one is the answer. Ooh, 14 of you got it right. Well done. Yes. The program that includes pitching at two regional audiences in Singapore is, of course, a select bootcamp program. Now, let's see who got third place. WL, congrats. And number two, Sai. Hmm. Who got number one then? Jordan, congratulations. Yay. 
Okay, Jordan. Uh, please DM me in BB to provide me your details, your name, your phone number, so that we can give you your prize during our closing ceremony this Sunday at 4 p.m. at Laxmana College of Business. I wonder is where is Jordan? Yeah. Hi Jordan. Okay, let's move to the next agenda, which is the role of startups in promoting and creating diversity and inclusion at 10.30 a.m. The room is currently open, so please do join the room now.